Well, the most difficult part of stunt riding that I've seen over the entire career was probably not being being paid in a money sense simply because this is the type of sport that requires money and it requires you to stay healthy it requires you know the doctor when it's time it requires a new bike when it's time um, and the most difficult part about it was you know sometimes uh, putting gas in the tank to go training you know and keeping fresh tires on the bike and and all because you're only as good as the equipment you're on my father sat me down a couple of weeks ago, we had uh, lunch, and he said, you know, if you quit stunt riding, I'll buy you a house. And I looked him dead in the eye and I said, Dad, it's not going to happen. You know, that's a tough question, because once you reach the top, I mean, uh, there isn't really anywhere to go. You just basically have to fucking fight off all the people trying to take your spot. I want to be famous. I want to be known throughout the stunt game. The goal in the stunt is to always de to dépasser un peu ses limites, repousser toujours uh, au plus haut possible. I think I'm just going to start riding for fun again. That's what got me into it and that's what I enjoyed about the sport so much and I hate the fact that one day um, I'm not going to be able to do this anymore. I, this is my life. Moim pierwszym DVD było DVD Drew Stone'a, Urban Street Bike Warriors. So the people that are out there making DVDs, you know, they're, I think if they're lucky, they're breaking even on their efforts. Wherever you see a big fluctuation of money coming into a situation, you're going to have a bunch of fucking scabs coming in trying to rip people off, trying to extort, trying to make a quick dollar, and that's what a tons of producers did in this industry. You know, the more motherfuckers acted like that, you know, it really made my films rise to the top, man. Because those fucking people couldn't direct their way out of a wet paper bag. <laughs> There's times I'm sitting on the bike at a light and my foot's shaking and I'm like, come on, come on, I gotta, come on, come on. Come on. Ah! Respect the rules in the in the road, you know, right in the speed limits, and not make take a risk for the the people in the road, you know. Uh, I guess the scariest chase is when you have a passenger, because it's unfair to the passenger, you know, if something were to go wrong. I don't like my 27 broken bones. I don't like my my body full of metal. <laughs> Getting old, and yeah, no, it's uh, it sucks a little bit. It cost me a relationship with somebody who I was very serious with. I left my job that I planned on never leaving. I left that and I moved 3,000 miles across the country to pursue it. Odbiło się to parę razy na moim jakimś tam życiu, prawda, osobistym. No ale to jest silniejsze po prostu od człowieka. To find who I am and everything I do for the last 10 years, you know, I, I started in my 20s being a body piercer and ended up ending my 20s being a professional motorcycle stunt rider. Stunt riding is viel mehr für mich als ein Sport. Stunt riding is lifestyle. Uh, I did, I m'a pris avoir confiance en moi. Uh, À me défouler, à m'évader un peu quand j'ai des soucis ou quoi, euh, ça me libère. Euh. Yeah, I mean, everybody's done some ridiculous things on the bike, and I mean, splitting lanes in the wheelie, down, going down the freeway, you know, things like that that are just, you know, that after you did it or before you do it, that you should kill yourself, and just those kind of dumb things that most stunt riders have done. My family isn't accepting a stunt riding at all. And um, most of the time, honestly, I hope they never see this, but I lie about where I am and what I'm doing. Alright, I'm out of drama. This is drama. This shit's drama, dude. I just finished the art. You watch drama. You're watching Toronto Trauma 3. Don't forget to eat slap your mama sauce because it's gonna be hot.
Přesli! Jo, 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 jo. Mě to už zajímá, mě to padlo, mám pocit, že.